today. I'm a Scriba, and as you can see, I wonder if there'll be a uh, chimney sweep there today. Group. Have you seen the smallest police station in London? It's the smallest police station in Britain. <laughs> it is. Hello, hello, hello. Most people just wander past here and completely ignore this little uh, box, but it's, like, it's actually the smallest police station in Britain, sort of. I think now it's just like an old smelly broom cupboard or something, but uh, most towns in Britain had one of these funny little lockups where if you were a bit drunk and disorderly, they could just come and slam you in there until you sobered up. This particular one was introduced around 1926, so that the police could keep an eye on the protesters in Trafalgar yeah. Square. What about that lantern on top? Is that anything? They say that the lantern on top is actually from HMS Victory, which is uh, Lord Nelson's flagship, but uh, I think that's a little bit dubious to myself. I'm not entirely sure. Right, and you see those bas reliefs? They're supposed to be made out of French cannons captured from the Battle of Trafalgar. Did you know that? It's what I heard. A bloke told me down the pub. <laughs> this plinth remained empty for about 100 years. It was originally designed to hold a statue of King William IV, but they ran out of money and they couldn't make up their mind what to do with it. Now they just put works of modern art on it. Wonderful big blue cock. I think he's rather magnificent. I like him. There's a really nice story, actually. When Walt Disney came to London, he was on a visit to the National Gallery, which is behind me, and there was someone doing chalk pavement pictures outside, and that's where he got the idea for Bert's character in Mary Poppins. And it's all my own work from my own memory. A leap of faith. That's what they do in Mary Poppins. A leap of faith. These lines were sculpted by a guy called uh, Sir Edward Landseer. He was Queen Victoria's favorite painter. He, he said, well, I'm not a sculptor, I'm a painter. And she insisted. So first they had to wait several months for a lion to die at the London Zoo. And then they dragged it to his house. And eventually, about 25 years later, they finally got their lions. <laughs> What's the difference between Fred Astaire and Walt Disney? I don't know. Fred dances and Walt Disney. It's really, it's really quite funny.